connection. All right, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to wire two receptacles. Half the receptacle will be hot, the other half of the receptacle will be switched. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is run a power wire from our switch box to our electrical source. In this case, I'm running it to a panel box. Alright, next step would be to run a wire from the switch box to the first outlet. And then we would need a piece of wire from our first outlet box to our second outlet box. Okay. So, over here in the switch box, running a single pole switch, keep that wire from falling. Strip the wires back into the box. Okay, so I had to replace this wire. I just spliced it in here because the old piece didn't have a ground wire. Somebody pulled it out. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is wrap my grounds, a couple of twists, linesman pliers, get a nice tight connection, slide the green wire nut on. Put it in the box. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect our neutral wires. No neutral is needed in this switch, so I am just going to wire nut the two neutral wires together. That will give me neutral coming down this wire. Now it's going over into my next box where I'm going to need it for these two outlets. Okay, so that leaves me three wires in this box. Okay, two of them are going to be hot. So this is my hot wire coming out of the panel box. And I want these receptacles to be, half of it's got to be hot all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pigtail these two wires together. So take the two black wires that are hot, 
and I will wire nut those together with a pigtail that will go to my switch. So now I'm left with the two wires that I need for my single pole switch. The black wire being my hot, the red wire is going to be my switch leg. So, single pole switch, it doesn't matter which one goes where. Switch leg on. Put my loop on my ground wire. Attach it to the screw, making sure that the, the curve goes in the direction in which you're tightening the screw. Okay, so I got my ground, I've got my switch leg, is the red, and I got my power, which is the black. And I want the off so I can have it in the up position. So. Okay. First outlet box. Strip wires. Okay, first thing we do is our ground wires. Linesman's wires, snip one wire off. Green wire nut. Shove it into the box. All right. Now, since this is an outlet, it's going to need neutral. So I have to. I have two neutral screws on an outlet. So all I really have to do with these is. Strip them and make them ready to attach to my outlet. Okay, next I have two hot wires. Two hot wires have to be pigtailed together find a larger piece of wire. So I'm going to take a pigtail and I'm going to pigtail the two hot wires to it. So now I have hot coming down the black and over here, I hooked it to the black wire and pigtailed it to the switch. So now I have hot coming in here and then jumping over to this one to give this one hot. And then I need a hot for my switch. Good. Now these red wires. These are the ones that are going to be turned on and off by the switch. 
again, I have two wires. I'm only going to have one screw, so I have to. Whoops. So I'm going to pigtail the two red wires together. Okay, now to install your switch or your plug strip. your hook on the end. Hook on the end. Shorten that up a little bit. Put hook on there. Okay. Now, how do we install this outlet so that one of them is hot and the other one is switched? Well, first of all, I'm going to hook up my neutral wires. I have two neutral wires, one coming in, one going out. So I will hook those up to the neutral wires, the silver screws on the outlet. Once I do that, they will be connected. I will have neutral throughout the circuit. Okay? And of course, I'll hook up my ground as long as it's on this side. Okay, now on the other side, I've got one of these is going to be hot and the other one's going to be switched. So I'll take the hot wire and hook it to the top of the receptacle. And I'll take the red, which is the switch leg, and hook it to the bottom. Now you're saying, well, you're hooking them to the screws, they're just going to be on all the time when the power is turned on. At this point, that would be correct. So, how do we remedy it? Well, the last thing you do before you stuff this into the box is there's a little metal tab that sticks out between the two screws. All you have to do is take your needle nose pliers and break that little tab off. Then it will, since that hooks these two together with that broken, this one will be separate from this one. That way this one can be hot all the time and the bottom one will be switched. So I can turn it on and off with this single pole switch. Alright, so the last one on there is pretty simple. I strip my wires. Again, I'm stripping about three quarters of an inch off the wire. I hook on the end of each one of them. ground. Take my other receptacle, start with the ground wire. Ground is connected neutral to the silver screw. Does not matter which screw it goes on. Since that little tab is there, they're connected. So I can put it on the top or the bottom, it does not matter. When I flip my switch over, now this is important, because if I have hot on the top and switched on the bottom, on this one I want hot on the top and switched on the bottom. So I have to make sure that I hook my top with the hot wire. and the red wire which my switch leg goes on the bottom. So 
there you have it. You have an outlet where the upper half is hot all the time and the bottom half would be switched. And you say, why would you want to do that? Well, sometimes you have something in your room that you want to turn it on and off as you walk in and out of the room, such as a light. So you could hook a light or a lamp to this, and as you turn enter the room, you could turn it on. As you leave the room, you could turn it off. It's switched, okay? And if you wanted to run an alarm clock or something on the other one, which is on all the time, you could do that. So the top half is hot, the bottom half is switched.